Well, I'm going to do a taste test. Yeah, go on then. <laughs> Been working on these trims today, getting them in place. I've run out of adhesive for those last three ones, but they're all pretty much done. And then I'm just working my way down, siliconing everything and tidying everything up. And then we've got a few places to touch up with paint here and there. Uh, clean up the door, find a door handle, still find a door handle. And that's pretty much it. All the skating boards have had their final coat. I could do the laborious task of putting these little, these little things in the in the holes, so that's what I'm doing at the moment. Right, this bottom step's giving me a few problems. Um, yeah, so uh, I've had to take it off and trim back some of the laminate and try again, try again. Um, I knew I shouldn't have done it today. I wasn't really feeling like doing anything and uh, that's what happens when you know you shouldn't do something don't do it uh, because it's caused me more grief just trying to get it right so uh, second attempt hopefully i've cleaned it all up got all the sticky stuff off and i'm going to give it another go That's it. There's a slight dip in the floor here, which isn't allowing this trim to sit perfectly flat, which it wasn't a problem because I've got ever such a slight dip in the floor on that one. Um, but because it was all in one piece, didn't have this mitre at the end, it was easier to do and that stayed in place. But this one just, it was a so fraction of these, forcing itself in the wrong direction. So now hopefully that will be it. If not, I'll have to do something else, but I think that that would be okay. Um, there's obviously a piece to go here, but I'll, I'll do that once that's all dry. Pretty much done everything. And I've done all the snagging, all the filling, all the um, silicone in the right places, uh, been cleaning the floors, touching up the paint, filling anything that needs filling. Uh, so we're pretty much, pretty much there inside. Just uh, got the nosings on, as you can see. Um, but now I need to attend to this. Yeah. It's welded on, silly Billy. So I've got to get that off, get it off, cleaned up, and then that'll be pretty much it for inside. Of course, yeah, I'm making these doors still, but that's my last job. Andrew's busy making this door, so that'll be done soon. That should be good. Get that on, and then we just have to put that fire in. Uh, which isn't a big job. Uh, so it's just a process of coming round, checking everything. Oh, I've just got to screw that plate down, take the cover off, and that will be it. Almost there, the last push.
Last push. Yeah. This is gonna take me some time. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see. Yeah, and before anyone says, yeah, I should have taken it off ages ago. But I didn't. I've got the uh, sticky tape off. I've just got to clear off any of this residue. Give it a good clean and uh, that'll be that done. Uh, handle, yep. Uh, anyway, getting there. It took a bit longer than, uh, well, actually, it took a little bit shorter than I thought, to be fair. Um, yeah, looks nice to see the glass uh, or the light shining through. Um, so what I'm going to do here on the mat, I'm going to take this mat up and I'm going to do a bit of levelling on the floor there to pull the mat up higher. Um, because although I've got a draft excluder there, it's a bit awkward because when I open the door, it, um, this part here is higher. So if I jack that up slightly, I can put the uh, draft excluder back on and not have it so low so it doesn't drag on the mat as it come as it opens uh, or doesn't drag as much so um, I'll, I'll jack that up shortly one of my other jobs to do hmm. all right got a little bit of a damage to this laminate so I'm going to just repair it with this uh, kit for repairing wood and laminates etc. Uh, you just get a bit of this wax. So, then we'll add a bit darker. soon. And then it just blends in. 
pulls it in fixed right have a door knob have a clean glass all sealed i've just had to fill these little holes because what we've got going here uh these holes are showing so yeah i've had to fill those and then i'll rub it down once it's dry and paint it and we've also got a little bit of a uh, drip up here um oh, up there so you can see what i was pointing at um yeah i'm not sure why that suddenly started dripping it it, it happened just the other day uh, i've had the hot water on testing it for some time uh, making sure everything's all right and i've done it several times now uh, i basically didn't turn it on to test it i turned it on to have some hot water so we can clean start cleaning things um but a little drip appeared ever so slight so i'm draining that down just to get it um so i can take it apart and just redo the connection uh, and then once i've done that i'm going home and i'm going to start on this barn door we did buy some timber uh, but we decided our design wasn't uh, good um, so i took that timber back and i bought some more and we're going for it again um, problem we've got is that this door is slightly wider than an average door so to get it to cover this side and this side the rail from any kit you buy the rail isn't long enough so i'm hoping to find one online and if that fails i will buy one and just try and get a piece of iron um, that i can use as the rail because uh, that's basically cool basically all it is get that so i can just cut a piece to the length i want so that when the door opens it goes beyond the door to here at the moment it will get to about there which is not not brilliant to be fair um it's nice to open the door all the way so that's what i'll be working on next but everything else is done i've just been going around as i've said probably a thousand times already painting and then i've just been putting these little popper hole covers in just to tidy up the inside of the cupboards and uh, just a quick clear up and that will be me done in the house apart from just cleaning the floors um yeah and that'll be it so yeah very exciting that we're almost at the end there's a little bit more to do as i said just the barn door andrew's working on the back door um yeah it would be good to close the door but we're almost there almost there uh there we go right okay onwards and upwards we're going to attempt to make this barn door for uh, the bedroom so to start with we have to cut the wood to size and then try to assemble uh, as quick as possible so it doesn't warp that's our biggest problem at the moment is the wood is not quite straight so we have to act fast yeah. so you've got your measurements yeah Yeah. 
Yeah. So now it's all glued together. I uh, just need to give it a uh, little time so we can then start assembling the frame around it and cut it to size. I think that's what we need to do, isn't it? Yeah. Let's see. It's a little bit unorthodox what we're doing here, not the normal way, but um, we have trouble getting timber here that's anywhere near flat. Yeah. So we've come up with a new method which will reveal itself as we go. We're basically winging it. <laughs> no, we know. Well, you know exactly what you're doing. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, it will, it will, as it evolves, it will make sense what we're doing. But yeah. for now, it doesn't even make sense to us. <laughs> <laughs> it's just like waiting for the glue to dry and... This one is actually quite good, isn't it? So yeah, that, it doesn't take long. It really takes about eight minutes. But uh, we need to give it longer, obviously. We don't want it to fall apart. Uh, yeah. So and on. then we're going to cut this now. Uh, we're going to cut this down, get rid of, uh, bring this down to a more manageable size of what we want. And uh, take it from there, I guess. And yeah. then, then it will be the assembling. Which is the exciting bit. Yeah. So. Good, good. How are you? <laughs> so and so. Someone's got shares in a glue factory. Hey? Yeah. Okay. Yep. Perfect. Phase one. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't matter because this is going to be. That's fine. Cool. Yeah, that'll be sanded down. Good, excellent. Do I need to sand this now? Not just yet. Well, let's get it all assembled. And then oh, we'll... because then it needs to be sealed anyway. Yeah. It? Happy in your work? Mm -hmm. Yeah, let's see. I'll tell you in the end. Hmm. <laughs> Super duper. Super duper David Yubi. Let's measure the full length and then uh, decide where we're going to place these. Are you not going to make the... The holes? I'm going to measure it first. Okay. Ooh, I've got the sneezes today. Um, right, I'm um, just taking a break from the barn door and I'm now going to be putting up a Roman blind here, a door covering for there, which is a thermal blackout curtain and a thermal waterproof uh, Venetian type blind going in here. Uh, a company called A Nice Town Curtains sent me these um, and what they do is they custom make uh, everything to your sizes uh, which is fantastic, you just go on, your, on their website, you choose what you want, add uh, the dimensions and they make it and then send it to you and I must say they were lightning fast, um, really fast, I mean they, they made them within literally a couple of days I believe uh, and then we got them really fast as well. So, so far, fantastic service. Now, I've got to get them up and we'll see what they look like. The only downside to this house is that we are not level on anything. So, what I need to do is get a spirit level, get a level, can't come off of this wall. Um, and I'll just attach it to there, but I think it's going to work, it's going to have a gap up here, but as I said, this is a totally uneven wall and we can't hang it off the wall, off the ceiling, so it has to come there, but I don't think it's going to look out of place, I think it's going to look very smart. Yeah, let's see. Let's get some measurements. Get some measurements and some uh, holes drilled. Right, set the laser level up, balanced on a ladder, 
Um, got it where I want it, marked it. Now I'm gonna screw in, or drill some holes, and uh, get that screwed up. Looks very simple to be fair. I think this isn't gonna take too long at all. Okay, I'm just gonna sand this down, finish this bit of the door. Linda's gonna. God, you look hot. I am hot. No, not in heat. Oh. <laughs> ba -bum -bum. Of course you're hot. You, you so calm. Um, right. Okay. So, we're sanding that. Yeah, just gently sand that bit, and then we'll. Uh, do you want to do it with the door shut? Yes, probably. Yeah, it will fall down there. Yeah. All done. Pretty easy job. Cool. And uh, it works really well as well. Wow, it's like magic. Yeah, it's cool, isn't it? Magic. Yeah, it's very good. And uh, we've put the door one up. Um, that is just a, uh, what do you call that? Well, a, it's uh, a blackout and also it's ther thermic. Yeah. So. And it stops any drops coming through the, the, the door. Yeah. So, and it's like. Uh, quilted. Quilted. Cushioned. Yeah. So that's done. We've got to put that one up. And here in the bathroom is this beautiful one, which also, this is like a concertina, isn't it? Yeah, uh, that's thermic and waterproof, so. Uh, and that's quite, uh, quite cool material, yeah. isn't it? Cool. Excellent. I'll put it up there. So. Yeah, so um, there is a 25% discount uh, on these, curtains and blinds etc so if you would like to take a look at the website which is um, nice town curtains we will leave in the description all the details links to these and to the discount code which is jam25 uh, jam25 and also on the website you'll get a further 40 percent, i believe so in terms of you can get up to 65 percent of these made to measure curtains and blinds really good really good so that's it. That's that little job done. The new owners will be happy as they chose those. Um, yeah. Excellent. 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 Anything you want to add to that, Linda? No, link on the description. Um, I don't know the code. I've done all that. I've done all that. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, there you go. Okay. Looks good. Really pleased with those. I like these ones in particular. These are quite good. Yeah. Good. Excellent. Right, another job done. Another job done. Okay. Christina just worked it out, so we've just put some ribbon, ribbon up there to hold it up. <laughs> there, so, yeah. yeah. It looks good like that. It does look quite nice like that. Yeah. Yeah, good job. Cool. Sort of. Yeah. Right, so that's the door all done. Little one. What are you doing? Oh. It's just fly killing. Oh, calm down, Linda. Calm down. Give, give the fly a sporting chance. Yeah. Excellent. Good. Oh, 
Voilà, voilà, voilà. C'est bon, bon, bon. Let me hear say way Okay. All right, so we're assembling the uh, frame part of it and then we'll cut it back round to a few bits and make it look fabulous. Marvelous. Marvelous. <clears throat> this door is huge. So the wind's picking up, <laughs> and the skies have gone dark or cloudy. We are promised rain tomorrow. We've got a 20% chance of spit. Yeah, it's taking shape. It's uh, it's big. It looks huge, <laughs> uh, but it is a big door. Mm. Uh, p carry on then, as you were. Happy, happy. Right, so the construction side of the door is done. Um, now we need to just trim it back and do a bit of routing. Uh, obviously cut this end bit off here. This is excess. Run the route around the sides, slightly bevel it, and then you're gonna fill it. Yep. Uh, and then we will prime it, uh, say we, uh, <laughs> not me, uh, we'll prime it and then... It looks nice, doesn't it? Well, it looks like a door. Oh, we'll look at it like that. Phew. <laughs> happy with your work? Yeah. Good. Is that all you've got to say? I'm happy. Let's see it finished.
Happy bananas. Happy bananas. Okay, what's your thoughts? There we have it. It looks like a dog, doesn't it? Okay, so we've uh, run the route around, just beveled these edges slightly all the way around, top and bottom, around everything here and here, all the way around. And now Linda's going to fill it. She's going to do a little bit of sanding and she's going to fill the screw holes. This door is going to be painted white. That's why we're filling the screw holes. Yeah. Uh, if it was being stained, we'd probably leave it. But it's being painted. It's um, looking good, isn't it? It's a big door. It's a huge door. Yeah, it's actually turned out really well. I'm really, yeah. really pleased with that. Cool. Um, yeah. Let's get Bit of your filling uncle. and sanding and, uh, and then Bob's your uncle. Bob's your uncle. Mary's your aunt and uh, somebody else is somebody else. Mm. There we go. Being filled. Christina's getting it ready for painting. Turned out really well, I think. Uh, we won't know until we pick it up. It might fall apart, but we'll see. <laughs> <laughs> Anything you want to say? Uh, no, I'm not good at talking while I'm working. So, and this is drying really quick. Right, Christina's concentrating, so I'll leave it to it. Um, right, on that note, we're going to go. Uh, you can pick this up next week where it'll be painted and hung. I believe the, the rails are coming. Tuesday. Tuesday, so we'll be able to hang this door, which will be fantastic. And I think that's, um, like I keep saying, one of the last things we've got to do there, uh, just to drill a hole in a wall for a pellet burner. And that will be it. So thanks for watching. Thanks for all the comments, all the lovely comments. Oh, got an itchy nose. Uh, what else? Thanks for, um... buy me coffee. Oh, buy me coffee, yes, thank you very much. Sharon and Phil, uh, they bought us two coffees in our buy me a coffee section that you can find in the description. I think we'll have a vino and a beer uh, on that. Um, yeah, thank you, thank you very much. It's very much appreciated. And uh, on that note, see you next week. Ciao. Bye. Did I do them all? You've done them all, girl. You've done them all. Marvel, marvel, love, love, love. Yeah. Not bad for a glass door. Where are we putting the glass? <laughs>